seconds. Okay. It takes a while to get any one of these demonstration jumps to happen. We're coming into it very current, being some of the best in the world at what we do. That's what gives us the skills to safely pull off a jump like this. One of my favorite chores is mowing the lawn. That's when I kind of do most of my thinking. Every once in a while, you get that epiphany. Bing. People ask me if I'm crazy. If you're not doing what you love, then I think you're crazy. You know, it's hard for us skydivers right now, especially with these winds. They're just about pushing maximum winds. We had to move our landing area out here to the center of the track so that the wind coming over the bleachers doesn't rotor in and collapse our parachute. 11 to 13 knots out of the north, northeast. You know, I'll do my best to stay as visible as I can, but, you know, I think it's more important to land there. And the last half of the song, anyway, I'm gonna be right here, no matter what. It's windy, we got a big flag, and we don't have much experience jumping this giant flag in a lot of wind, so we want the crowd to see it. It's not a safety thing, it's just trying to be close enough for the crowd to see it, and also still land here. Ten minutes, ten minute call for Luke Akins rocking and rolling here into the Speedway in Vegas, baby. Oh, Luke, man, you got your work cut out for you today. For me, these demos, it's how we have a job. It was up to me the whole world would make at least one skydive. I mean, this is me bringing the world into what I get to do every day. We basically are the big like, woo, check it out, intro this event. Whether it be a football game, a NASCAR race, uh, concert, you know, we we'll might even do a halftime show or something like that. A lot of the pressure on a, on a demo jump is, is usually for me is the timing. As soon as we get to the end, we jam, I think we jam back to over the... To... No matter what, our mission is to stay current current on a parachute. Doesn't matter if it's a big base parachute or a fast little ripper one, all those things come into play. So when you do do something super technical like this, you're awake and alert and ready. We wouldn't even be here if we didn't have the training and the know how to do it and uh, quite possibly get the first jump off of this Eiffel Tower in Vegas. We've been doing this a long time. Over the years, we've been building a solid reputation. We're not just going for it, we're out there training. So here we are at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Red Bull Air Races Vegas. Gotta go to a pilot briefing first to make sure that uh, FAA, we meet all the requirements for that. After that, we have a briefing telling us where we're landing and our timing. And then we go skydiving. Today's practice day. Get the skydive in and, and uh, rock and roll for a big crowd who's just super stoked to see us come in and tear it up. We at the Red Bull Air Force, you know, we come in with all this skill of all the years of knowledge and jumping. We're not coming into it unpracticed. Four, that counts down. Definitely four, we need a couple minute windows and let me know. He's going in 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds! Okay, so do be advised that the wind down here is either direction at any given second. And then we're watching 
for Chuck's five, four, three, two, one. Check. If one person goes, we all go. It doesn't matter on the timing. Check. fun to do a demo jump without any responsibility except to fly my parachute and land. I mean, you got radios and timing and like I love it and I thrive on it and it's really fun. But I also wonder what it's like on the other side to just sit back, do what I'm told, jump what I'm told and not worry about the consequences. Okay, walking this way, boys. We have so many fans and why people love what we do is because I think we're this wild and crazy group of guys that are out there just ripping it up and don't don't care what happens. The truth is there's a lot more thought that goes in behind the scenes. You know, it's all in a day's work. <laughs> I'm just glad we all came down real nice like we did and uh, sweet dishes are done. Let's go go to Vegas, baby. Yeah. 